it's you guys. Remember me? I'm the teacher on your screen. Soon to be teacher in real life. Another exciting day. We have something new on our schedule again. Two days in a row we've had something new. I'm pretty pumped about it. I gotta mix these up better because I feel like I'm saying your names in the same order every single day. Janie. Yeah, I got everything grouped up. Amaya. Brandon. Mrs. Shores. Daisy. Addison. Moses. Jonathan, Michael, Emilio, Francisco, Christian, Eva, Logan, Anais, Trinity, Claris, Gabriel, Evelyn, and Haley. Good morning. Let's talk about what we're doing today. Today's schedule, class meeting, morning work, reading groups, literacy block, math, and science. Um, in your packet, the last packet you got, you got a new little packet in it that said science slash social studies. I think it was yellow at the top. Um, and that's what we're doing today. We're learning about pumpkins because it is October and that is definitely a pumpkin month. Let's talk about, oh dear. <laughs> Wait one second. Okay, I'm back. I, I forgot the next calendar piece. Here it goes. I wonder what we'll have after this apple. I wonder if it will be something different. We'll have to see, won't we? This is really weird, but we're doing our grumpy voice. Didn't we just do our grumpy voice yesterday? That's what happens when you put all the sticks back in. You could just pick out the same stick from the day before. We're going to count how many days we've had in our grumpy voice. Here we go. One, two, today is Friday, October 2nd, 2020. Here we go, let's do morning work. All right, our last day of morning work for the week, and this is a crazy looking area. Write your name at the top. We're gonna trace through the maze. So we're doing a little bit of everything. We're doing some straight lines, zigzag lines, some swoopy lines. Ooh, this is a swoop down below today. That was kind of fun. All right, then down below, finding things that go together. Um, over here is a whiteboard. You know, when I show you my face on these videos and the white thing behind me, that's our whiteboard. So some things that go with a whiteboard would be like markers, like these, I use these on the whiteboard, or an eraser or magnets, we have magnets on our whiteboard. Um, so I think I'll draw a marker because that's what I use on our whiteboard. So there's mine. Then down below, here's a doctor. What is something that goes with a doctor? Well, um, a patient, like the person that they're taking care of would go with a doctor, or maybe a stethoscope. You know, a set stethoscope, the thing that goes in their ears.
so they can listen to your heartbeat. That is something that the doctor uses. Have, has a doctor ever used one of those on you? This part goes in their ears and they put this part up to listen to your heart. So now you can go back and color. All right, reading group time. Let's start with our introductions. I'll go first. I'm Mrs. Shores. Your turn. Ready? Begin. I am glad to have you in reading group time today. Here's that sound we're working on. This is a letter S. S says S. You say that. Here is a spider in soup. What is this? Let's go around and say the sounds and picture words. Ready? Begin. S. I. Spider. A. S. Woof. M. I. S. Spider. A. Meow. M. I. S. Let's open it up. We're going to turn one, two pages. All right, we're on page four. There's a little piece of paper next to it. And today, when we're in class, we, we do this as a game, but since we're far away, we're just gonna go around and um, say the sounds and do them bumpy or smooth. And we'll start, see where the spider is right here? We'll start here and we'll just do this one right, that's right next to it. Let's do it bumpy. Ready? Begin. S, s, s. What's this one? I. This one? Mmm. Ah, ah, ah. Let's go down to this one. I'm. Let's just keep going down, I guess. This one, let's do it bumpy. S. This one, I, down here, ah, over here, mmm, I'm, ah, 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 s, 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 I, mmm, And then we got the spider to his web. So you can go back and keep um, practicing this on your own and keep going over them. Um, but we're gonna be done with this part for the day. And we're gonna move on to our storybook. Remember, we're learning about spiders. We learned two facts about spiders. We learned they have how many legs? They have eight legs. And we learned how many body parts do they have? They have two body parts, a head and an abdomen. Now we're going to um, read a story about a spider. This is called Sahel's Adventure. This story has four chapters in it. Um, and here are the main characters of it. This is Sahel Spider. Who is this? And this is Robert Rooster. Who is this? So we have Sahel Spider and Robert Rooster. They're our main characters in our story. Let's read about Sahel. An adventure is doing something or going somewhere that's new and interesting. So Sahel's adventure is going to be about Sahel going somewhere new and interesting. Chapter one is called Sahel Travels with the Wind. Sahel was a little spider. You see her right there? Who lived in a very big and noisy city. She dreamed of going on an adventure. 
She wanted to visit the country with its trees and big meadows. Sahail left her old web and crawled down the water spout. So there's Sahail crawling down the water spout. We're going to read about Sahail. Right here, ready? Begin. I see the busy city. I hear the busy city. Next line. Ready? Begin. I want to visit the country. I want to visit a farm. So where does Sahel want to go? She wants to go to the country, to a farm. The country and the farm are something new and interesting to Sahel because she's never been there before. What do you think she might see at a farm? <gasps> Didn't we just read about a farm in our last unit? What were some of the things on that farm? There was a pig and a rooster and a cow. Let's look over here at this side. When Sahel got to the bottom of the water spout, the wind started to blow. There's the wind blowing. Sahel was frightened. We're going to read up here above the picture. Ready? Begin. S -s 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 -s, whispered the wind. Down below the picture, let's read. Ready? Begin. I am your friend. One more time. Ready? Begin. I will help you visit the country. So where is the wind going to take Sahel? To the country. Sahel is going on an adventure. Let's look at this picture. The wind lifted the little spider into the air. We're going to read about it. Ready? Begin. Whispered the wind down below. Ready? Begin. I see the busy street, said Sahel, and the tall, tall buildings. The wind carried Sahel out of the noisy city. Do you see that? There's a wind carrying Sahel out of the noisy city. So next week, we'll get to keep working on this and we'll get to read about where Sahel ends up. All right, it's time for our last um, literacy block practice for the week. Let's write our name at the top. And then we need our scissors. We're going to cut the bottom of our page off just like this on the dotted line. So our page is kind of short now. Then you'll cut out each of these little apples. And just like we've done before, we're going to be careful to not lose any of these or drop them on the floor. And we'll keep them right here next to our paper. This is something we practice in class, too. And we'll set them out so we can see all of them. So here are all of my apples. If you need to pause it and finish cutting, that's fine. And then just come back to it and press play when you're ready. So I'm gonna read the directions. It says letters or words. Direction, cut out the apples, sort them by if they're a letter or if they're a word, and then we'll glue them up here. So um, a word usually has a lot of letters or at least more than one letter. Um, a letter is just one thing all by itself. So let's start with 
this one. Y-O-U. This is you. You are my friend. I like you. Is this just a letter or is this a word? This is a word. So let's put a little bit of glue here because you is a word. Let's look at this one. S-E-E -E is C. I can see the sunshine. Do you see a bear? This is C. There are three letters put together. So is this just one letter or is this a word? This is a word. We'll glue the word C over here because it's a word. Next we have this. This is an R. Is this a whole word? Nope, this is just a letter all by itself. So it will go over here. Next they have this. C-A-N. Can. Can. Is this a letter? Or is this a word? Can I come over and play later? It's a word. Can. So we'll put it over on the word side. Here is a C. Just one letter. So we know just one letter will go over here. A N D and I like to jump and run and is and a letter or a word it's a word it is three letters that are put together. What about this? It's a P. Is that a letter or a word? That's just a letter. What about this? It's an M. We've practiced M's in reading groups, haven't we? And we know M is just one letter. What about this apple? It has just one letter. It has a B. So we know it goes over here. Last, T-H-E spells the. The. The goes over here. So we know the letters were R, C, P, M, B. The words are U, C, can, and the. Now you can pause your video and you can color in and you can even color in your apples too if you choose. Let's touch and count the corners of our triangle. One, two, three. Now let's put a dot on each corner. How many dots will we have? One, two, three. Now I'm gonna put this in my hand. And let's say the math sentence. I have two dots on my triangle and one dot in my hand. I have three dots all together. Now I'll do this. Here's our math sentence. I have one dot on my triangle and two dots in my hand. I have three dots all together. What if I do this? I have zero dots on my triangle and three dots in my hand. I have three dots all together. Now I'll flip it this way. 
I have three dots on my triangle. I have zero dots in my hand. I have three dots all together. Here's my tower. Let's touch and count. One, two, three. What if I do this? I have two blocks in my tower. How many blocks are in my hand? One. How many blocks all together? Three. One, two, three. All right, what if I do this? Do you remember how many blocks we had? Three blocks. How many here? One. How many here? Two. How many all together? Three. What if I do this? How many blocks here? Zero. How many blocks here? Three. How many all together? Three. All right, we have our linking cubes and I'm gonna use my whiteboard today too um, because we're gonna count linking cubes and then write the number that we have, okay? So, I am holding one linking cube. So I'm going to write the number one. Straight line down is fun. It's one, here's one linking cube. What if I add another one? Now, how many? Two. So I'll write the number two. Candy cane and give it a shoe. Two linking cubes. Now I'll add another linking cube. Count. Three. So I write the number three. This shows a three, this shows three of something. Okay, now I'm going to write out my numbers. When I write my numbers, just like when I write words and sentences, I start over here. Zero, one, two, three. Those are all the numbers we know so far or that we've practiced so far. You might know different numbers. Now I'm gonna show you a tower and then you point to which number the tower shows, okay? Here we go. Here's my tower. Count them and point to the number. There it is, two. How about this tower? Count, how many? Point to it, one. This tower. Count how many? Point to it. This tower. Count how many? Point to it. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit faster. Ready? Good job. Let's work on our birthday cake. We need our dice and our crayons. By the time we get to class, you guys will be experts on this, won't you? Touch and count. Put them on your cake.
Did you do that whole thing in your head and did you use your words and count? I was not saying any words just so you could do it all on your own. So nice job. All right, guys, it's our very first science and social studies day. So this is a yellow piece of paper that says science, social studies. We're doing a let's find out weekly reader. Do you know I did weekly readers when I was in school? That was a million years ago. Please write your name down here where it says my name. All right, we're gonna talk about the parts of a pumpkin. Here is a pumpkin and it looks like they cut a piece out of it. Do you see that on your magazine? There's a big chunk cut out of it. So, this outside part is called the shell. What is this part called? Shell. Up here, this big part is called the stem. What is this? The stem. This um, part that you see right here, right inside the shell, that's called the flesh. That part's kind of gooey, but kind of hard. It's the part that you carve through when you carve a pumpkin. Then inside the flesh, you'll find the pulp. That's all the stringy, gushy stuff. That's called pulp. And inside the pulp, you'll find lots of seeds. So let's talk about that one more time. The hard outside is the shell. This part on the top is the stem. The thick part on the inside is the flesh. The stringy, gooey part is the pulp. And these hard little pieces are seeds. Let's open it up and we'll keep talking about those parts. Over here, a pumpkin has a stem. The pumpkin grows from the stem. <laughs> What is trying to eat the stem? That looks pretty funny, doesn't it? A pumpkin has a shell. Pumpkin shells can be different colors. Look at all of these pumpkins. Their shells are all different, aren't they? So a pumpkin could have very different shell from a pumpkin next to it, couldn't it? A pumpkin has flesh. This is the part on the inside. Ooh, it looks like this little mouse or rat, whatever that is, likes to eat the flesh. You know, my dog really likes to eat that part of the pumpkin too. Let's look down here. A pumpkin has pulp. The pulp is slimy. Oh, look at this girl has her hands full of the pulp. Have you ever um, carved a pumpkin and you get it, it's like squishy in your hand? That's what she's doing with the pulp. A pumpkin has seeds. You can cook the seeds and eat them. Have you ever eaten pumpkin seeds before? And here's a big word, jack-o-lantern. Say that with me, jack-o-lantern. A pumpkin can have a face. Some people carve faces into pumpkins and put a light inside them. This is called a jack-o-lantern. Um, pumpkins are usually ripe around this time, so that's why we use pumpkins on Halloween. And people will decorate them, they'll carve them, and they'll put a light inside and make a jack-o'-lantern. Ooh, now this is a really fun part. I like this. 
on the back is a pumpkin patch search and find. We need to name the objects in the box. Then we have to find them down here in our picture and circle them. So, wheelbarrow, cat, jack-o'-lantern, hose, basket, sign, scarecrow, and pie. If you want to find these on your own, that's great. You can pause it right now and find them on your own, and then you can play it again and, and see if I find them. Um, if you want to find them all together, just keep playing it now and we'll look for them. Okay, wheelbarrow. Do you see a wheelbarrow at this pumpkin patch? There it is. Circle the wheelbarrow. I'm going to put a little check next to it because I know we found it. Next is this cat. Do you see a cat in our picture? There's the cat on the roof. I'm going to put a check next to my cat so I know I found it. Next is a jack-o'-lantern. Remember that's what we call a pumpkin that has a face carved into it? Do you see the jack-o'-lantern in our picture? There it is. Check. Next is a hose. Do you see a hose in our picture? There is our hose. Check. Next is a big basket. Do you see a basket in our picture? Here is the basket. Check. Next is a sign. The sign says pumpkin patch. Do you see this sign in our picture? Right here. Now let's find a scarecrow in our picture. Just like that scarecrow we made yesterday. Here's the scarecrow. Check. And last, we have to find a pie. Ooh, the pie is really small. Look for the small pie. Do you see it? It's right here on this table. It's very small. Check. We found everything in our pumpkin patch. Nice job, guys.